Hi guys, we're back with our lesson two of our landscape painting. Um, so now we already did the sky, we did the cl some clouds, and we did some background distant trees. Now this time we want to bring out some um, trees in the front of those trees. So we got to get some of those nice little trees going. So here we go. So all I did was I took some, I'm taking some green paint tapping it in with some blue paint to darken it up and a little bit of red and these colors will darken up your green and give you a nice dark green color nice back a nice earthy green color nice and dark so we'll just put some trees just tap 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 uh, with the same bristle brush that we use for the sky <clears throat> and I'm turning it um, vertically uh, and that way I can get a better get some better shaped trees now all you're doing is tapping lightly and I'm going to look at my painting so I make sure I get it done it's not going to be exactly the same as that painting because it's almost impossible to do the same painting twice exactly the same unless you you know really want to look at every little tiny detail but let's just go across here with our trees so a bit of blue, a bit of green, a bit of red, and you get a nice dark green without having to use black. I like using black sometimes, but other times it doesn't, uh, it just doesn't give a nice color. So let's go right across here with this. Tap, 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 right across. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. So now you got some nice bushes on the bottom. See those bottom bushes there? Now we're going to do is stick up there's some nice trees over here. The big tree here and a few taller trees over here. Okay. Alright, so I want you to see that. So let's try that. So let's take our same colors. Green and blue and red. Green and blue and red. It can be sap green, ultramarine blue, and cad red if you want to use those colors. Okay, I'm just using the bottle paints. Um, I find it easier to work with when I'm doing some videos. So let's get some taller trees. Just put a few taller trees. One here is fine. Maybe one here. Just very lightly tapping. I don't want to push too hard because I want to get some shapes. Maybe that big one right here. Just go back and forth, make it nice and nice and fat. Good. Just shape it up as a tree. Good. We'll be doing some more shaping of that now after. And then just tap over and bring up another tree maybe here. So you do whatever you want. I've just shown you some things that I did and, and then you can make up your own trees in the way you want them. There we go. Come up with your tree and another tree and a few little ones over here. Good. Maybe a couple of little ones in between there. You can probably throw in a couple. Whatever's left over on your brush, just throw them in between here. Throw them in between the brush. Whatever's left over, don't get any more paint. Good. Now, what we're going to do now is We'll do some highlights in a minute, but while we're waiting for that to dry a little bit, why don't we take our tape off? Let's take our tape off. There we go. Good. We'll do some highlights on those trees. While we're waiting to do some highlights on the trees, we will make, um, we'll do some, what we'll do next is some water here. So we'll do that water here. So just get a piece of chalk or a pencil or something that you can use just to draw a line across so you know how far down you want to go. So I'm just going to take a piece of chalk and I'm just going to decide where I want to have. So it's around here. So we'll take that line and put it over here. If you want to use chalk or tape, whatever you, you want to use. And let's just put the water in here now. So you can use a fan brush or you can use a flat brush. 
you can try both just to see how they work it's nice to play with your brushes so I'm just going to throw I'm just going to use the fan brush for now so we'll just put the water in and the water is pretty simple you still want to add some blue some blue paint a little bit of white to lighten it up a bit it's a bit dark so just lighten it up with some white paint and if you have to bring it over somewhere else and it won't lighten up for you just move move on another side of your palette to get it to lighten up there we go that's nice and light and just come back and forth with your brush back and forth and you get some nice water I find a fan brush is good that's the fan brush technique and I'll even try the flat brush for you in case you know you, you need to follow along so here's a flat brush technique next to the fan brush see so you can use either I find the fan brush gives me uh, better strokes Let's see there we go you can still use the flat brush same you know basically the same I just like using the fan brush that's just me okay so I'm just gonna put that on there and we'll go back and forth with our strokes and we'll try we'll try to get uh, you know some movement in the water a little bit we don't need very much come up under your trees there we go and just go back and forth back and forth get your water on there now it's not too hard you can even add a little bit of white to your blue like separate the paint see how I got some blue and white and then come back on here and then you'll get you'll get a bit of a separation in color which will then make it look like the water has some ripples on it all right so take some blue and some white oh where are you there you are and go back and forth oops back and forth and that way you will get two separate colors of paint and you'll get your sh your values three values maybe all in one stroke there we go good so paint one side white or just put it on together and but don't mix it and then when you get it on here just let the paint separate itself and that way you get some nice uh, ripples in the water see you didn't have to do much work at all how easy is that just one stroke painting now so we have some water now what we need is that little piece of land back there that's what we're going to do next little piece of land how's that okay can you see it there it is all right what we're going to do there is get some burnt umber get your burnt umber and when you get your burnt umber you're going to we're going to try it with a couple of different techniques i want to show you as much techniques as i can um so that you can learn so i'm going to show you you can use your fan brush just put some brown on one side i always like to put my my paint on with this, some extra colors you know i like to just uh experiment so i'm just putting some brown and same what i do with the blue just some brown and some yellow and i'm going to, this this technique with the fan brush you can take it and pull over for your land you put highlights on that after but still you got this two the separation of colors there we go now let's try let's try the flat brush you pick whatever brush that you like when we, when we experiment with the brushes so i'm just using this flat sable brush the, the chiseled edge and same things brown and a little bit of yellow brown and yellow and i'm just going to bring that over oh i haven't got a very steady hand today and you can bring that over and one more technique that i'll show you 
is to take your let's take the palette knife now there's different shape palette knives you can also use different shapes um, maybe one like this mine are pretty dirty I've used them you know I use them a lot and I got paint on them so that's the different shapes and you can take your palette knife and you can just run it through some brown and some yellow like I said I'm using the bottle paint so they're pretty you know they're they're pretty uh, smooth there and two paints might stick better so just take your palette knife and lay it down lay it down and pull over so that's just three different ways that you can make your land and so you pick the one that you like the best and away to go so I'll just leave that there like that that's your piece of land and you can take then you can highlight these here with your fan brush or whatever brush or uh, flat brush or whatever brush you want just going to throw this on now that I got the palette knife out all right so I'm just lay I'm putting it touching it on the side and I'm just laying it down a little bit and then I'm just pulling across the saw so there's a little bit of land there cool so that's good now there's a lot more work left to be done yet so I think I will go to lesson three and I'll let you work on that for now we'll come back and we'll start doing some more work on that for you so I'll see you in the next video